Greetings everyone, Brian M. being the mentor of millions and creator of Seven Figure Frameworks. Back with video number 10 from our 10 20 30 campaign. Now what is that? 10 financial freedom facts that are gonna help you in the year 2020, carry you through 2030 and beyond. We've had a great time and today I just wanna do something real simple. I wanna give you a recap of all 10 videos. Now I encourage you to go back through the playlist and look at all 10 as I hit on different things. But we started with the two financial objectives that everybody in this country should have. The fact of the matter is, until you learn the rules of the game in capitalism, you don't even know that financial objectives even exist. Your current lifestyle, number one, should be paid for by your labor. Now what does that mean? That means we all go to work every single day or we own a business so that we can provide for our family clothes, roof, food, water, basic necessities, education, but your future lifestyle is paid for by your investments. That's goal number two. And it's hard to even think about goal number two, which is the future, if you're barely making it in the present. We also talked about four financial challenges that keep you from hitting those two objectives. Number one, inflation, the silent income killer. Every single day, the value, value of your dollar drops because entrepreneurs continue to increase the price of goods and services. If you can increase the amount of money you make every single day at the same rate that a business owner is increasing the price of their goods and services, then your dollar is losing value. Another challenge is taxes. Taxes take the first one third of your paycheck. You don't believe me? I'm not gonna argue. Look at your pay stub and you will see gross, you will see net, and oftentimes your net makes you feel gross. It's because of the taxes. Another challenge is debt. Debt is real simple. Debt is caused by taxes. If the government didn't take so much off the top, we wouldn't have to borrow so much on the bottom. And last but not least, big business has a way of making sure every single month, every single day, every single coupon, every single commercial, every single color, every tune they play on the music, every single commercial, it's designed to get in your pockets and we wonder why we don't have any money left to invest. Inflation, taxes, debt, and big business have a way of making sure you never hit your two financial goals. We talked about the rules of the game. It's capitalism, guys. Don't get mad at capitalism. Just learn how to participate in capitalism instead of only contribute to capitalism. Some people don't even know that a game is being played and there are major pawns in it and people will take advantage of that. We talked about the solutions. The solutions are simple. Let's get your cash flow up. Cash flow is measured in time. Income is measured in dollars. Your dollars may be okay, but the cash flow is how long your money actually stays with you. A lot of Americans have great income, but negative cash flow. Taxes have to go down debt has to go down and expenses have to go down in order for your cash flow to go up. We talked about business. Why? A home-based business. Why? You already have a place to live. Now turn some of your expenses into tax deductions. Wealthy people do it all the time. You see athletes start a foundation for youth in the inner city. You see actors buy a lot of land and save the llamas and, and gorilla back, silverback gorillas. Why? Not that they aren't benevolent, not that they don't have big hearts, but it's also a huge tax deduction because of the amount of money athletes and entertainers make. Well, the common person's way or the middle class's way of playing by the rules of the wealthy is to start in their home. Why? Because you already have one. By the time you take your positive cash flow, you take your business income from your home-based business and you parlay that into investment income, you finally brought your second goal full circle. Yeah. Something has to work, just not you. Now that you're investing, you can't outwork money. Money doesn't get tired, money does not call in, money does not get a headache, money does not get an attitude. All money knows is to create and make more money. Then and only then, ladies and gentlemen, will your second financial objective be obtained.